How are we feeling? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Susanna Gisandi. My name is Billy McFadden. Hi, my name is Seth Mangum, and I'm one of the advisors of the senior class. My name is Marco. What did you do while on this trip? Um, so on this trip, we had a ton of service planned for each day while we were there. Uh, it was pretty much five days of service, a lot of it being gardening and weeding and cleaning up out uh, in church properties and a few other properties there that were affected by uh, the hurricane over the summer. Um, I feel like personally I had a goal of like just being super flexible and wanting to make my whole like mindset of going on this trip like completely about God because like obviously we're going to Florida which is fun but I wanted the focus to really just be centered on God and being willing to do whatever was like needed of me. And so I felt like I did that pretty well. And I feel like our class especially did that really well together of just being super flexible and like taking whatever task was given to us and just being willing to help, which was like super great. And just like super great to see everyone so willing to do that. And just like everyone being thrown into doing a lot of like tedious and like laborious work. And it was just like, it was really good to see that. So on the trip, um, one of my favorite things that we did was we went to a Habitat for, for Humanity like thrift shop that was like destroyed and all of the guys in the class got to like clean up and like kind of we replaced like ceiling tiles and replaced water damage stuff and kind of swept the floor and like kind of like redid the entire store so that was awesome. What would you say was the highlight of the trip? Um, I think the highlight of my trip was the day that um, the day before we left, it was the day that we were done all the work that we needed to do and it was the day that we were just on break and we didn't have anything to do and we just could hang out with everyone. Um, and that was the day that we just all got to go to the beach together and we all just got to relax just as our last day just in Florida and just enjoying the weather and just enjoying like each other. I think that was my favorite part because it was just we're all just having a great time together. I feel like our class just kind of was unified during the trip and I think just like you know when we weren't doing work even I think we were all just having a good time and um, even while work too and I just think like the highlight um, for me was just like that day we we're all just together and just got to go to the beach got to hang out with each other just you know before we all went back home. Yeah so a highlight for me uh, there were a few but one of the biggest highlights for me was probably seeing the places that we served, hearing from the people that were there and seeing how thankful they were for our service. Um, it just meant so much to them that we were there, that we were helping in any way. Um, and hearing their stories, hearing their testimonies about how bad the hurricane was for them and how God has helped to bring them through and how the churches and the ministries that have been supporting them have helped them so much. And just being a small part of that was just such a cool thing to be a part of for me. I would definitely say a highlight is going back to seeing our class like working together and just our class being able to like bring out all of our different strengths and being able to bring all of our strengths together to complete so many different tasks for people and like for God was like really like wonderful to see. So it definitely was a highlight just like seeing everyone come together and work together so well and just the bonding that was done through that and like the bonding through doing work for God is like none other so yeah. Was there a goal that you had in mind when you went on this trip? Yeah, I think my goal was, even though it was like a class trip and all of our friends were around, that the real goal was to serve Christ and to put Him first in everything that we did and just everywhere we went we were being a, like an example of Him. So yeah, I think that was our goal and I think we did a pretty good job of doing that. So. Yeah, so my goal is kind of unique because as one of the teachers, one of the advisors, chaperones for the trip, um, I really think of the group, the class, as my first area of ministry. Like, I want to make sure that they're all taken care of, that they're all uh, working well together, and that, you know, their spiritual needs are being met along the way. 
Um, so that's kind of my overarching role, just kind of making sure things are going smoothly for them. But then while I was on site doing ministry, I was, you know, gardener extraordinaire, weeder, uh, raker, you know, just trying to get my hands dirty and get in there as much as I possibly could to try to help. You think you fulfilled that? Yeah, I'd say like from obviously it's like you can get distracted or you can you know have like your bad days or you're, you're exhausted and you're thinking about other things but I feel like as a group we like for the majority of the time we were focused on God and we definitely like goof off here and there but like <laughs> um, and like it's okay to have fun while doing work but as long as like your motives are right and I feel like we all had great motives and we all were really wanting to like help people out which is most important. Yeah, I think this was one of those great trips where I could just see the class of students uh, serving and serving one another as well as serving the places and just being a part of that, just overseeing some of that, making sure that the logistics were going well and driving students there was kind of part of my job. But seeing that happen, um, I think we did definitely accomplish the goal of serving on this trip. Was there any moment that you saw or felt God in any person or any moment? Um, yes. There was this moment where um, we all one day were going to this farm and a guy um, says hi to us and he seems like very sweet at first and you know he's saying like hello like you people are so beautiful and like hello everyone and just, how are you doing and um, soon after that he just brought us all into the building um, was kind of just like preaching this his teachings, um, you know, we found out later that he was some like religious leader of some sort and he was just preaching these teachings that, you know, were not appropriate. He was just talking about, you know, the wrong things, definitely not like something that I could think like us as Christians would ever like want to be in and it was just an uncomfortable situation and that's when one of our praying pumpkin leaders, Steph, she just kind of stepped up and said like, know this language is inappropriate like I think we need to stop here and that's when it kind of escalated a little bit and um, one of the guys just started cursing her out and everyone else just kind of got up and left from there. She even got the chance to spread the gospel with them and she even got the chance to just share her faith and to share you know God's love with them and I just think that was so admirable and I definitely think like that's such a great example of how we can spread the gospel and how we can turn a sour situation and make it into something good and make it into, you know, spreading the gospel and just sharing the love of God. You know, and after that, um, we all got together and we prayed for them. We prayed for their salvation and their souls. At the end of the day, we got to um, spread the gospel with them and we got to pray for them. And I think that is a good example of just like, how the gospel can be spread and how you can, you know, turn a bad situation into something good. Definitely saw God just in the way, I think definitely in Steph for taking charge just as well as just um, us being able to, you know, come out of that and just pray for them and, you know, hopefully they're doing better and now they have, you know, hopefully there's a seed planted that can grow from there. Yeah, I feel like I definitely saw God through, I know I've been saying this a lot, but just through our class as a whole, because it was a, like a great opportunity to just like spend time with people that like you don't always spend time with, or just like to get to hear other people's stories, whether it's from our class or from like other groups, like the praying pelican leaders, and just like talking to some of them a bunch. And I feel like I really just saw God through other people like stepping up into leadership roles or like other people just like sharing their experiences and the praying pelican people like helping us all out like that. I definitely saw God working through that and like bringing us all together. Yeah, I would definitely say just being in that environment when you're serving, you see people in like a new light and there was a lot of boys, especially like Ian and Marco and just how they served and I looked at them and I saw that really just everything they were doing was examples of Christ and how uh, we would have devotionals and like shout outs at the end of the day and just they would always um, get tons of shout outs just because of their character and just how they were holding th themselves and like really came out of their shell on the trip so that was awesome. So after your experiences on this trip would you consider doing another? Yes of course it was like absolutely amazing I loved everything being with the boys it was great I'd definitely do it again and definitely had a great time serving them so yeah. Yes, I definitely think like that was an experience that I've never really had before as a Christian. Um, I'm pretty new to 
being Christian, like, I'm all not even two years, like, you know, living for God and stuff. So I think, like, it was definitely, like, an experience like I've never had before. And um, it just felt really good to serve. It feels so good inside, like, to help people out and just to be kind. And, like, we all, like, are able-bodied people and we're all able to help. And I think, like, helping out is just so awesome when you can just, like, do something nice for someone. Like, that's kind of... I think the love of God is just like spreading kindness, spreading like joy and just helping out people, you know, when they need it and just spreading love. Absolutely. I'm one of those guys that I'm always thinking about what is the next place to serve. And so as soon as we were, you know, coming home from this trip, I was thinking, all right, I wonder where the Lord is going to send us next year. And um, that doesn't mean just next year either, because there's always places to serve here at home. There's places to serve over the summer. So one of the cool things about short-term missions for me is just realizing that like God is always at work in all different places, and He works through us. And as long as we're willing to go, um, He can use us and send us all over the world. So I'm open to, to going again and again and again for sure. I would say definitely, I would definitely want to do like a short term one. I don't know if I would be able to do like a missionary like forever, <laughs> but like it was a really great experience and it was really cool. I definitely think you have to like have that like strength to be able to do that because like it's really hard, but I would definitely do it again and it was a lot of fun and it was really really cool. You guys ready? Devos now? Alright, time for Devos. Then you would bear my cross. You lay 